Hello, everybody. My name is Graham Elwood, and you are watching The Political Vigilante. Well, it is very desperate times in America. The richest country in the history of the world is having record food lines. Thousands of cars form lines for food in Texas. I want to show you this video. This came out of a local Texas station, the CBS affiliate in Texas, in Dallas. Look at this. Mixed emotions today at Dallas's biggest food giveaway since the pandemic began. Quite frankly, probably one of the biggest ever. While many families are happy that they will have a Thanksgiving meal, the size of the crowds proves just how devastating this pandemic continues to be. From the ground, you could see cars lined up everywhere at Fair Park. When you take a wider view from the air, the length of the line was as far as the eye could see, backed up onto the freeway. But for those in the line, they saw something else. I see blessings coming to us because we all struggling and, and I appreciate North Texas helping us out. There we go. There we go. Oh. All right. Load it up. Samantha Woods was one of the estimated 25,000 people who benefited from the giveaway. 25,000 people, cars stretching miles long. It really is amazing. And I thank God that I was able to get in the line this morning. Each of them thankful, grateful, and very candid about how tough this past year has been. I haven't been working since December. <laughs> March. Me. Can't find a job. They cut cut off my unemployment. It's, it's a big deal. It's a real big deal. So this is a big blessing for us to be able to get this. The food drive brought out several organizations, including the North Texas Food Bank, to distribute more than a half million pounds of food. It was a whole lot of people that pushed in on this. Like I said, me partnering up. Uh, with the North Texas Food Bank and the Tarrant County Food Bank, Pastor Brown bringing in those volunteers in the Baptist Ministries Union. She was. For those who showed up, there was really just one thing required of them. We have patience. Well, we got patience. The ability to wait a bit as so many others found themselves with the same need. It's a grim reminder of how much COVID has ripped people's livelihoods. But it's also proof that together as humans, we can get through this. Thank you. Happy holidays. With a little kindness. I mean, it is heartwarming to see like Americans helping each other out like that. Like that, that is that is a beautiful takeaway. But it's like we have to because the government does, doesn't give a damn about us. The Republicans don't, the Democrats don't. Pelosi doesn't, Mitch McConnell doesn't. They could have said that, you know, they could have had a stimulus bill before the election, but they didn't. And that's mainly on Pelosi. Trump might give one, I mean, with a little bit extension. I mean, this is this is the richest country in the history of the world. I mean, imagine if we actually had leadership that wasn't completely bought and paid for by the big corporations. Both of these parties are so awful. Like, it's so awful. I really hope the American people wake up to this, how the lesser of two evil voting is what is creating this. Because, you know, in other countries, they just gave everybody $3,000 a month UBI. They said, you don't have to pay rent. Other countries all over the world, they just froze. They said, nope, you don't have to do this. Imagine, because in the CARES Act, the first one that was passed in April, did you know that there was $4.25 trillion that was given to Wall Street that was kind of hidden? And everybody voted for it, including people like AOC and Bernie. They voted for it. So I'm sorry. This shouldn't be, I mean, this is wonderful people are doing this, but this shouldn't be this desperate for Americans. I applaud the American spirit of people wanting to help each other out. I mean, that's really beautiful. That gives me hope because they want us divided, distracted, and afraid. You got people going through tough times, man. This is the richest country in the history of the world. But we bail out Wall Street first. And just to be clear, most of that, the people we're getting, these are donations. This is a food bank that gets donations. I'm sure there's some federal money in there, some state money, but this is donations, which again is wonderful, but it's really just like, it's like a tax on good people. The government, this is what government should do when, when there's a crisis. COVID-19 is a crisis. 
you have to shut the entire economy down. Well, we wouldn't have these mask fights and all this crazy shit in the streets if people were being taken care of. Imagine, well, no, you got free health care. You know, one thing the president could do, any president can do this, student debt forgiveness. 85% of all student loans are federal. So it doesn't require ta a taxes or a bill in Congress. It's just the president just goes, gone. You don't have to pay it back. So that could put trillions of dollars into the economy. We should be taking care of citizens. Instead, it's up. We all have to, I mean, we have to take care of each other ourselves because the government doesn't give a damn. I haven't been working since December. I can't find a job. They cut off my unemployment. It's a, it's a big deal. It's a really big deal. So we got money for Wall Street. The big pharmaceutical companies give, guess what? They, they give the big healthcare lobby. They give to both parties equally. That's why we don't have free healthcare. The biggest receiver of this was Joe Biden because they figured he's probably going to win. And then you got people like Mitch McConnell that get it too. You think there's a difference between these two parties? There is not. Because you know what the democratically controlled Congress did several times in the two years that they've had control of Congress? They voted to increase Trump's war budget. You want to see what we're spending on war? We outspend the next 10 countries combined. And yet people are waiting in line for food. There should be line miles long for pe people should just be given money by the damn government. Wall Street gets it. How come we don't? This is the fiscal 2021 budget proposal. This was, came out in February of this year. President Trump sent Congress a proposal. Request seven. $740.5 billion for national security. That's an increase. The democratically controlled Congress has voted to increase Trump's war budget every time he does it. Senators and Democratic senators have done this. So if you think things are going to change with Joe Biden, you're wrong. And this isn't like, oh, I'm a Trump supporter. I'm not. I'm glad he lost. I'm glad he lost. I don't like him. I'm glad he's gone. I hope he doesn't do anything crazy in these next two months, but I don't like him. And I don't like Biden. I voted third party. I almost always vote third party. And when I vote down ballot, I vote third party. But it's going to take more than voting. It's going to take a general strike because look at all the money we spend crazy shit on. Nuclear modernization? Really? We need more nukes? Come on. Our nukes from 30 years ago could wipe the planet out 10 times over. We need more, more nukes. Communication, 7 billion. Long range, we need a B-21 strike bomber. $2.8 billion. I wonder how many meals that could provide. Think about that. All those people waiting in line for food. Take each one of these dollar amounts and think, how, take those 25,000 people just in North Texas, but then multiply that all over the country. We've got tens of millions of people not working, out of work. But we need new bombers? Oh, okay. Ballistic missile submarine, $4.4 billion. I wonder how many people that would feed. What if this was the Green New Deal? What if this is how much money we were allocating? Oh, to start building um, wind turbines in, in Texas, in North Texas, where that took place. So we're going to put a bunch of Texans who are out of work. They get to go to work. Texas, which has wind, that has it's, it's plains, it's flat Texas. The whole, the whole middle of the country gets a lot of wind. So we could be putting these Texans, rather than them stating in line, waiting for, for donations from very kind, generous people, the federal government could be, oh, this is how much money we're spending on wind turbines. This is how much money we're spending to build solar panels. This is how much money we're spending to build PPE devices at a rapid rate so that our, our, our frontline medical people get those because the numbers have just surged. These, all of this, like, open it up. I don't want to wear a mask. I mean, I don't agree with that. Open that. I'm, I'm not an anti-masker, but I understand it's, it's mainly fueled by economic fear. People are terrified. So just let's open it up, which isn't smart. But if the government was taking care of everybody, we wouldn't need that, right? Set up 474 minutes for a long-range standoff. Oh, all right. $1.5 billion. 
Oh, start training people to work, you know, I don't know, online, free online college. You lost your job? Well, we're going to give you free online college so you can get more training because we need people in this Green New Deal. We need to train people. We need to re-educate people. You had a job in the fossil fuel industry that you were making, whatever you were making a year, 50 grand. I'm just going to pick a round number. Let's say you're making 50 grand a year working for the fossil fuel industry. Well, you're going to get paid 50 grand a year to transition into a green and a green job. So you're not, you're not out of work and we're going to retrain you. We're going to spend, this is all the money we're spending on retraining. Think of it, think of it. Those are, I'm just throwing ideas out there. I mean, this is what real green new deals have in them. Missile defense and $20 billion. Sea-based interceptors. Oh, Christ. Bullet. Oh, homeland defense and next generation interceptors. Well, that's federal cops arresting the American people. Terminal high altitude area defense ballistic. What the fuck? Oh, there's your free college. There's your, this could be for a federal jobs guarantee. Oh, we're going to build high-speed rail coast to coast, and this is how it's going to do. We're going to put these people to work. You lost your job because of COVID? You go to work first. How about an infrastructure of water pipelines, not oil pipelines that can leak and contaminate the water and pollute, but water pipelines. So when some country gets a... Or, 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 um, a state, a region, like we had back in the... We had really bad flooding, right? Anytime some part of the country gets really bad flooding, oh, we send that to where there's a drought. Space Force, the dumbest thing I've ever heard in my life. Global positioning and blah, 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 blah. So when you're waiting in line at a food bank, wondering why the government isn't taking care of you more, it's because we outspend the next 10 countries combined on war. Imagine if we outspend the next 10 countries combined on education, right? On taking care of the homeless, on drug treatment rather than just criminalizing anybody that has an addiction. We spent, outspent the next 10 countries combined on green energy, designed manufactured and built by with good paying jobs in America. Imagine if we did that and then we exported it. What if Texas was like, and all the plain states, all these factories making, and we were exporting it throughout the world. What if we were doing that? What if America was leading the world in stopping climate change? What if we were doing that? Instead, we lead the world in war and destruction and Wall Street bailouts. We lead the world in prisons, private prison industry. You have a private for-profit prisons. That means you need to create criminals. Come on. You see the goodness of America. You, the top of that video, you saw the good naturedness of America. And if, if we had real leadership, not these corrupt idiots, Trump, Biden, Pelosi, McConnell, these two filthy corrupt parties, they're so disgusting. We had real leadership. Bernie, he inspired some people, but he's not a real leader. He quit. We have no prog real progressive leaders in the Democratic Party. We don't have any of that. We have nobody in the Republican Party. The media is completely bought and paid for. Fox. And then that's why people grab a straws at like QAnon, which is a psyop. I mean, come on. If we had real leadership, this country could rise out of these problems like a, like a phoenix rising out of the ashes. Phoenix-like, America could rise up out of this poverty, homelessness, drug addiction, all of it, obesity, I mean, gun death, war, blah, 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 blah on down the line. Because let me tell you something about this, this economic collapse from COVID-19. Domestic violence is increasing, crime is increasing, suicide So I applaud everybody that's involved in giving out food at any food bank anywhere and donate to a food bank. I have, you have canned food, donate. You got a little extra money, donate. But our, we need leaders. Our government has completely failed us. We are a goddamn banana republic. We are a banana republic.
And America could be leading the world instead of the whole world is watching us collapse in real time. And all this fighting in the streets, Proud Boys versus Black Lives Matter, that's all designed by the ruling class. They want us, excuse me, they want us fighting with each other. They need us divided, distracted, and afraid because if we saw who the real enemy was, it's the 1%. It's the billionaires that control both parties, that control all the media, they control the courts, all these big corporations, it's controlled by the 1%. So they need the 99% fighting with each other because if we all, if we all got together, it's over for them. It's over and they know it. They know it. So they need us fighting. And let me tell you something. There is absolutely private intelligence within Antifa, within Black Lives Matter, within the Proud Boys, within any of these organizations to keep people fighting and violent with each other. Guarantee you. I guarantee you there's FBI intelligence people within the Trump, within the, at the Trump rallies. They're absolutely there. They're at Black Lives Matter protests. They're there. Because the last thing they want is working class whites and working class blacks and people of color to go, wait a minute, we shouldn't be fighting with each other. We should be attacking the billionaire, predatory, many of them pedophile ruling class. Bezos, done. Elon Musk, done. Get them out of there. And these puppet politicians that they control in these both of these filthy parties, Trump, Biden, Kamala, Pence, McConnell, and don't put in the comments, hey, any of those people, they said they did this good thing. Oh, wow, they did one or two good things. <laughs> Suck it. Eat it. Eat it. They don't give a shit about you, man. They don't care about you. You wear their hat, their shirt, their Biden, their Harris, their Trump. You wear that shit. Vote any blue will do. Republican Party. Fox News is my team. CNN. They're all bullshit liars. Hannity is a piece of shit liar. Joanne Reed is a piece of shit liar. Anderson Cooper, Tucker Carlson. They're all piece of shit liars that work for the billionaires. All those people make millions of dollars. They have at least a seven, if not eight figure income that they're given by the billionaire ruling class. You thought you're just going to watch a video about some people getting food in North Texas. It's I'm showing you the whole system that allowed that to happen. And when I see good American people busting their ass to help each other out, it sickens me that the people in charge are this evil and corrupt. I'm not voting for anyone in these two big parties. I'm not giving them my money. I'm only voting third party and I'm only giving third party candidates my money, but we need a general strike to shut down the ability of the billionaire ruling class to extract our money and our labor from us and then force us to wait in lines for food. We need to stop that. CNN ain't going to cover this story this way. The story was like, look at all these people doing these wonderful things. That's a great angle. But they, the journalist didn't then turn on the billionaire ruling class because the billionaire ruling class runs that channel. CBS, CNN, Fox, MSNBC, they run it. So they can't say that. You come here for the truth. That's what I'm going to give you. Got the nice new studio. I'm in a Hawaiian shirt. It's made from hemp. That's right. I got it in Maui a long time ago. Vegan guns, baby. All day, all night. Shave your knuckles for justice. Boom. Thanks for watching, everybody. Please hit the like button, the subscribe button. Go to patreon.com slash Graham Elwood and rockfin.com slash Graham Elwood where you can support the show. Also, I have a Bitcoin wallet, a Bitcoin cash wallet, and an Ethereum wallet in the show notes. We're taking cryptocurrency. I have a Coinbase affiliation link. We're going to be getting on some other exchanges. So that's how you support the show. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. YouTube is unsubscribing us at an alarming rate. I have a PayPal button at GrahamElwood.com. I even have a Venmo at Graham-Elwood. There's a lot of ways to support our show. We are getting crushed by YouTube. They're We've dipped under 73,000 subscribers because of YouTube. Thanks for supporting what we do.